Welcome to the eSports Report. This is Gabe Smith, and today I will be talking about Splatoon 3 and all of the new things in the game. Starting with the new movement options, which would be the Squid Roll and Squid Search. These are very important to the game, considering movement like this was not in the first or second game. It allows for a lot higher level play and makes the game a lot more fun, in my opinion. There are also a lot of, of new fighting utensils in this game, including the Splatana. The Splatana has a vertical flick and a horizontal flick, along with the stamper variation of the fighting utensil to have zip cast for more than new specials. It allows you to move around the map at your leisure, and whenever the special is done, it returns you back to where you started it. Moving on to the next, you have the Tri-Stringer and the Reflex. The Tri-Stringer is the larger of the two, having larger range and exploding shots that you can use to combo with the actual shots, and also having one of the newer specials, known as the Killer Whale 5.1. Its paint is not very good for a fighting utensil of this class, so it takes a while to get your special. It is a very useful killer whale. It is a special one, a universal special that you can use through walls that targets enemies and can take them down from quite long distances. It even follows them. Moving on, we have the reflex, the second variation of the tri -stringer. It is a smaller, less powerful version that does not have exploding shots, but it comes with tenta missiles. A very, very good special. Very good for displacing enemies, taking back zones, even good in turf, which is the unranked mode, which is taking turf. Very, very well made. On to the specials. For one of the new specials, we have the we have the Trizuka. The Trizuka is a variation of a special from Splatoon 1 that has been nerfed exponentially not be as strong. Uh, according to its name, it has three shots. All three are extremely powerful. It does not paint your feet, so you are extremely vulnerable while using it. But it is still a very valuable special to have in the game. Especially modes like Clan Blitz where you have to push in. On to the next special. We have the Big Bubbler. This one was added in place of Ink Armor in the second game. Ink Armor was a universal special that you could chain to your teammates. Very broken, very annoying to go against. But now, Big Bubbler creates a large shield that you and your teammates can sit in and you are completely invulnerable while inside. However, the enemies can shoot the outside of it, or the top, to break it sooner. It also has a beacon in the middle, in which your teammates can jump to. Very useful in the fights, and in modes such as Rainmaker, in which you have to push. Moving on. Next, we have Zipcaster. I showcased this special earlier, but I did not mention it in depth. What this special does, it allows you to move around the map freely, freely. And it can be very good for starting pushes, especially with uh, fighting utensils like the Octobrush and the uh, Swatonic Stamper having it. It's a very short-lived special, but it is very good at starting pushes for certain moves. It's better on moves where there's an objective in the like, Clam Blitz, Rainmaker, sort of that. And it's good for getting spots in tough situations. Moving on. Next, we have the Booyah Bomb. This special is from Splatoon 2, but it has been revamped. They've made it differently now. It is easier to get, for one, because it's on one of the best weapons in the game. And now. It's easier to charge up, and it has electricity coming from it when you are fully charged. The animation is different, and it is much better at displacing enemies than it was in the second game. Moving on. 
next we have Wavebreaker. Wavebreaker is on my personal favorite, the Range Blaster. It is a one to two shot, and it's a it, it's a skill shot. You, you have to hit your shots first. You're not gonna win. The Wave Breaker is used for displacing enemies, much like most of the other specials. But this one, it's very easy to outplay. These lines here, if you jump over them, you will not get hit by them. But if you do, then you will take damage and also a Very, very good support special. Used to cover teammates in team fights and keep them from getting splattered in very tough situations, such as in tower control. You can use it to cover for your teammates. What it does, it absorbs shots from the enemies and uses it to fire it back at them. And when it does, it fires a very, very large explosion that causes massive damage to enemies, and it's very, it's something to be extremely wary of, especially in good team comps. Moving on. Next, we have the Ultra Stamp. The Ultra Stamp is revamped from Splatoon 2. It now does more damage. Ultra Stamp is a special that can be used in many different ways. It can be used while jumping, just moving regularly, or you can throw it. Moving on. One of my new personal favorite specials is the Crab Tank. It's a very balanced and neutral special, not used for much else aside from just being aggressive. It's pretty selfish special, but it works well, it has very, very long range and two firing modes. It does not last very long, but it works very, very well at starting pushes in game modes. It's just very nice to have. Moving on. Next is the Reef Slider, my teammate Tyler's personal favorite. It works very, very well getting into zones, pushing into Rainmaker, doing stuff with the sword. When you use the special, you have a defined line that you cross. If you press this bar at any time, you can stop and explode at any given moment. Moving on. Next, we have the Tri Strike. This one is a revamp special from Splatoon 1, as are some of the others. The original special in Splatoon 1 was one large strike that you could touch anywhere on the map, and it would just go there instantaneously. But this one is a much more balanced version of that. When you use the special, three strikes fly into the air, and where you throw the sensors, three giant tri strikes come down. Good for, once again, pushing into zones. On. And lastly, we have the special that is on my second favorite weapon, the Dino Warrior. We have Tactical Warrior. Tactical Warrior is a very, very good special to have in any team. It is useful for starting pushes, um, pushing into like last 10. It gives everyone on your team one boost that they can use. It makes squid rolling and squid surging much easier, the ink efficiency is raised, all of your moves are faster, and if you were to get splatted, you respawn in one second compared to the usual six. A very, very good special. Mm -hmm. That will be all of the gameplay for today. I hope you enjoyed this esports report. Make sure to subscribe to our Twitch. Uh, we stream Splatoon 3 every Tuesday if you are interested. This has been Gabe Smith on the Esports Report. Go dogs.